Hey guys, I'm Daishana here, bringing you some Hearthstone, and today I'm going to be talking a little bit about, well not really talking about, but showing you the deck that I'm going to be playing for the next couple of games. We'll see how well it works, I really don't know, maybe it'll be awesome, maybe it'll be terrible. But yeah, this is Amaz's Priest deck, for those of you who don't know, Amaz is a like, pretty famous player. He took third at the latest massive tournament for Hearthstone, and uh, yeah, he streams a lot, and he has a YouTube channel. But he's most known for being the best priest player, or the only priest player, I don't know, who manages to make it to legend and do really well and stuff. So, yeah, this is his deck list. I, I just copied the entire thing from him, so I'm not gonna try and take any credit or anything like that. That would be, uh, that would be insane. I'm not really sure on all the choices and why he made them, but this was taken from his page of where he updates his decks this morning, so it should be close enough to accurate. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to go through and explain why all the cards are in the deck because I don't know exactly why they're all in there. We'll see. I mean, obviously, I'm not really going to be able to play perfectly because I barely know how to play the class. I mean, as you guys can see, I'm like level 50 or 49 with Druid and 36 with Priest. So <laughs> a little bit of discrepancy discrepancy there. I think Priest is is by far the class that I played the least with. But I mean, it's still it's still I understand the basic premise of trying to control the bro the board in the game early, get some late game finishers out there, slowly chip away at the life total. There's no big finisher in this deck, but also it's really hard for my opponents to finish me because I can uh, I can heal up. There's a lot of a lot of good healing things in this deck. All right, so I'm playing against a rogue. I think I suspect that it's a good idea to keep Power Word Shield and North Shark Cleric in any hand. Um, I'm not gonna keep this in my opener, and I don't think I'm gonna keep this either, but not really sure. Maybe I should keep that. I don't know. I don't know if I ever play that card without using a circle of healing, but we'll see. Alright, we got a Swamp Ooze. Circle of healing, but no um, no thing. Alright, so maybe I just won't play this. I was going to say I'm going to play this and coin, it, coin out Power Shield, but what I think I'm going to do instead is just going to play Northshire Cleric and Power Shield next turn. I don't want to just run it out because it could just die to a backstab plus a dagger, so that doesn't sound great. Well, no, I'm not going to play it at all. <laughs> Knife Juggler from a Rogue. That's an interesting idea. Oh, what? I totally did not mean to play that. Okay, well, that's not so bad for me. I can go ahead and, and do this, but I, I really didn't mean to do that. I, I meant to just play this. I just was looking the other way, and then all of a sudden, boom. Massacre. So it doesn't look like I'm going to be playing against a Miracle Rogue. It's more of just a cobbled together, <laughs> let's build a deck rogue. Maybe. I don't know, that's a good card. So Alright, he's going upstairs, and eh, I can get my card back off of this thing. So, may as well go ahead and do that right here. Ooh, Power Word Shield. Wish I had another mana up. But I could have also Circle of Healing there to draw another card just to cycle it. Um, I don't really think I need to, though. Good. There's a good chance here that my Northshire Claire is going to die back to I'm sure that's, that's one way to do it. Could have just used the dagger, though, so I'm not really sure why he used an entire card on it, but... I guess he did want to do that. Alright, so I could use a Soul Priest here. That'd be a good draw. Holy Fire, you say. Alright, well, let's go ahead and drop this Northshire Cleric. Um, yeah. I kill this 2 1. Heal up. And probably use this Power Word Shield as well. That would have been a good draw. So we put it here. Yeah, he's got to use more more spells to do that. And yeah, I'm actually gonna circle of healing here. I get to draw two cards. So I mean, he does get get a health back on that guy, but it's worth drawing the extra card I think here. And now we're looking all right. I mean, got a couple of things on the board. He can take one of them out this turn with no cards, but I've got a whole bunch of cards in hand. One of them is Sentient Shield Master, which should be insane here. Um, Alright, so he's gonna go upstairs. You going upstairs with everything? That is a mistake. Okay. 
fully know what you say. Alright, let's do it. How many cards do I have in hand? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So actually, if I do that, then I'll over I'll overdraw, which is not really ideal. But I do want to play this this turn. Um, probably. Maybe I don't even need to really. I can just play Shieldmaster. Um, yeah, let's let's kill the first half of this thing. Yeah, so if, if I had Holy Nova, then I would have, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, I had this in hand too, so that was 8, so yeah, I would have had 8 cards outside of this, then drawn 2, and then on my turn I would have drawn 1, so yeah, I think I would have overdrawn if I did that, this is not the end of the world, but it's not really ideal, either way, the Shield Master should do uh, the work pretty much for me that the Holy Nova would have done. I'm still at a very high life total. Okay, there's an assassinate. You got it. I guess I could have thought that maybe... I mean, assassinate's not really a reasonable card for my opponent to have, but... Like, I don't really care if my opponent's killing my creatures, even though it's my draw engine, because I have way more cards than him already, and I don't really have to worry about that. So he is going to go ahead and take out my other creature as well. He draws a card for it. Not a big deal. Nope, that's a good draw. to steal his guy, he's not going to heal up, and I think here, what am I going to do? Yeah, I'm going to heal up. I mean, I can rely on Ragnaros to win me this game, most likely. My opponent uses an assassinate. There's a good chance he's not running a second. I hear you got a problem. Wow. That's not good. <laughs> well, I mean, I'll be able to kill it right away. Oh, I can, I can actually just taunt up here. Gonna heal, attack, do that, and that. Yeah, I got a couple of taunters here. He can break through one of them easily with the dagger, but the other one he's probably gonna have to attack into, and then I can just take that out with a Shadow Word Death. No problem. Or I can just hit it with my 2-3 if he actually does just hit my 3-3 and, and doesn't do anything else. There's a fan of knives for two. Well, he's still not going to be able to. Um, yeah, even. I guess he's he can have a preparation and then another spell. He's not even going to de stealth. That is interesting. Okay, we need to really. I'm still at 24, so not really a concern. Um, I'm going to. I'm just going to kill this thing too. And we'll see if we can uh, hit this. Sweet. <laughs> okay, so even if Ragnaros dies right away, did his job. I was thinking how, I was wondering how this deck won a lot, but now that I think about it, Thoughtsteal probably is pretty good at winning the game. Alright, well, that's a thing. Thoughtsteal is probably good at winning the game. I mean, my, my opponent is playing a lot of cards to win the game. I'm not playing that many, but the ones that I am playing get the job done. Alright. Let's start. Let's see. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards in hand, so I can thought steal once. There is a defender of Argus. Don't mind if I do. My seal for Argus. <laughs> All right, bro. You gotta break through this Ragnaros if you want to kill me. <laughs> I guess he's probably got a sap or something like that in his deck somewhere. That would actually be pretty bad for me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, I won't. I wouldn't even overdraw here. It's got another assassinate. Sure. All right. So you're playing two of them. That's okay. Not gonna complain. And a backstab. Sure. Dagger or tradesies or shiv. S I seven. Okay, that makes the most sense. <laughs> and eviscerate. That's not a winning strategy. <laughs> okay. Mind control. Not quite ready to use that yet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. This will put me at ten, so I'm gonna have to play something here. Not gonna play sprint. 
Um, do I want to kill this with the Shadow Word Pain? I believe I do. And I don't want to play any of these other cards, though. I, don't, I want to save my Eviscerate for something bigger. I don't know. Alright, so... I got this Sprint, but I'm probably not even going to cast it. There aren't that many cards left in my library, and... I'm not... I'm unlikely to get to a low enough life total that it'll matter. So those thoughts... That thought of steel didn't really help. Yeah, there is a Defender of Argus. That's not great. I could use a Spell Damage plus one. And you've got your own Lepernum. Okay, actually, I don't even need anything. Well, I need another mana. There's a Shadow or Death. That'll, oh, I have one already. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to Shadow or Death this. Holy Nova. Trade these. And then heal up. Okay, so... <laughs> This is fun, man. I mean, this is a controlling deck if I've ever seen one. Anything that my opponent's doing is just like, oh, well, I have six answers to that. Which one's the best one? And I've probably been choosing the worst one most of the time, but... <laughs> anyway, there's a Loot Hoarder. You got it. And another Defender. It's alright with me. And a Head Crack. That's not really too good for him. Okay... Sylvanas. Don't mind if I, I do. No I think I may as well get rid of that thing, get it off the table, and heal up. So, one of the super cool combos in this deck is just Sylvanas Shadow or Death to steal something awesome that your opponent has. It's a two-card combo, but it's it's since you're taking one of their creatures, especially if it's a good one, um, it'll provide you with extra card advantage, so you're going to get more than just a two for two. Alright, so it looks like he's going to do that and then hit himself in the face, or... Oh, well that was that was a mistake. He should have just daggered, hit me, and then traded. But now he's just going to lose. He's just going to give me the 3-3. Three, three. Okay, now he's not even going to kill my guy. <laughs> sure. Sounds alright with me. Um, does it pay to even heal up? Yeah, probably. I was gonna heal my guy, but yeah, I mean, I'm still at 16. I'm, I'm not really in danger of dying, I don't think. Maybe I am. Maybe I should have healed myself. I mean, with like Leroy and Cold Blood and Eviscerates, I could see myself dying. There's another Lepernome. And there's a Blood Mage. Okay. So we don't really have anything to worry about here. I mean, I guess I'm close to dead, but I mean, I have this Holy Fire, and I can heal up, so that's a lot of life back. Okay, so we're just trading here. Works with me. I'm happy enough to take your guy off your hands. <laughs> Head crack goes back to hand, but that's not really an issue. Alright, I think I wanna I just wanna holy fire to gain some life back. But actually, first of all I'll do is I'll play this. And I might be able to just holy fire him in the face. Yeah, I can probably just do that. And then just hit here. I take one extra damage on my guy, but I get one extra damage through. So that's probably He's worth it. He's almost out of cards. My god. That's how controlling this, this deck can be. I mean, just take complete control over the game. And I think <clears throat> the reason why I decided to play a priest is because I, I don't think that... I think... <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? I think that their matchup is pretty good against... Um, against Hunter. I mean, it's not amazing, but it's not terrible. But yeah, he just put, paid 7 mana and 6 life to draw one card. I guess he knew what card it was, but I mean, how's he expecting to kill me? <laughs> Probably doesn't have enough cards left in his deck to kill me, but I should be able to uh, get him soon. Man, I have this mind control in him. My opponent's not playing a good enough card. <laughs> well 
I mean, that's just, I still had 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 cards. I had 12 cards, so my opponent's won, basically, when it was head crack, so. Sweet. Oh, and I have this challenge. Man, that was, that was a fun game to watch. I guess it's not going to be nearly as fun when I'm actually playing games and losing, but I don't know. If I'm winning, I'm okay with it. All right, I had to create a couple of cards for this, so now I only have enough for one legend. Before I had enough for two legends and an epic, so I made one legend and an epic, and by subtraction, got there. All right, so against Shaman, I might actually just want to keep Holy Nova in my opener. Probably not. I can draw into it at some point. And it's not like it's a needed card, it's just probably going to be good at some point. I mean, something like Sunfury Protector, I think, is is pretty good to play early on. I need something to just start killing all the totems that he drops. I don't know how you're supposed to play Injured Blade Master. I think against a deck like Shaman, you might not want to just run it out on turn three. Maybe not wait till turn five, but if you can power shield it on turn four or something like that. I mean, they've got a whole bunch of. Ooh, I think this is okay to drop here. I don't know, I don't know what the, oh my god, there's so much protocol and, and like, play styles that I don't know, because I don't, I have never even watched anyone play Priest, it's, this is completely new to me, I've never even played against, like, a, a reasonably good Priest, so, <laughs> it would take a really long time for me to learn this deck in and out, but, in the meantime, it is, it is a cool deck, but I do suspect that, that Norshar Cleric, being a draw engine, you just wouldn't want to play it on turn one, regardless of what you're going up against, because if your opponent can kill it, then you just lose value. Alright, so I'm going to start off and just, just start curving out. I mean, we'll see what we got here. Opponent obviously didn't want to kill my guy on turn one, I don't know why, but it's, this is funny, it's even a little risky for him to just totem here. If he gets the Searing Totem, he's in bad shape, but he's going he's gonna to bite the bullet here and go for it. Could be bad if my opponent has a lightning storm and gets lucky, but if he gets unlucky with a lightning storm, then he's in really bad shape. And also, just because I'm going to be able to draw a card next turn by dropping the injured blade master there, I think it's worth it. Good thing about this matchup is Cabal Shadow Priest is never dead. Okay, so yeah, if he misses here, he could be in, uh, in set. Okay, so he killed the most the most important two and left the least important one. That's, that really sucks, I and mean, he's probably going to win the game because of that, but at the, at the same time, I mean, I played right into it, so I, I knew that I was playing into it as well. I could have held off on the 2-drop and then played the 3-drop if, if I really wanted to. So he's just going to loot order here, that's fine, I mean, not really gaining or losing anything by doing that. But I'm definitely not ahead here. He's got nine cards. One of them's a coin, so he's really got eight cards to my three, four, five, six. He's supposed to be up one. He's he gained one extra card advantage by by getting that lightning storm. But I mean, if he hadn't, there was a. I think it was a still reasonable play because if he first of all, if he didn't have lightning storm, second of all, if he didn't kill the Norshire cleric, then I get a lot of card advantage out of that. So I think it's worth it. I think it was worth the play. He should play like an unbound elemental and not play a spell because I want to take it <laughs> but yeah Cabal Shadow Priest is always going to be at least able to take a totem right my hand is not very good right now I admit it I admit it all right and the, what is this like a lightning bolt or something earth shock I guess that's just a draw card it's too bad that this thing is is big because or not big I can't kill it Yeah, I actually just have no way of dealing with that right now. Maybe something like, I mean, I'm sure he's tried it, but or Amaz has tried it, but like an abusive sergeant in this kind of deck. Because, I mean, just being able to use it in combination with a, a shadow, oh, this is going to be bad for me. Yeah, well, I could take one of those, so it's not the end of the world. Ooh, that's actually good for me. Maybe. Yeah, okay. So, I can do one of those. Trade there, hit there. 
Yeah, I'm not in great shape, but that was definitely a reasonable line of play for me. Hopefully I'll get hexed here. I don't really think I will, but it's a possibility. I guess best case scenario is this thing gets to be like a five power dude and I can just shadow or death it, but that seems unlikely. But yeah, um killing these shadow or deaths are kind of annoying or kind of ooh. That's weird. Kind of awkward here, but they're still pretty good going. Alright, well I can holy fire that and heal up. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do that. I can do that or I could just play Ragnar. Nah, I'd rather do this. Playing Ragnaros right now is not that good. Um, my opponent's obviously playing two hexes in his deck, and he's drawn through half of it. There's a good chance he's got one by now, and I don't really want my Ragnaros to get hexed. Or if it does, I want it to have a profound impact on the game before. Alright, so it looks like Shadow Priest down. That's not even that big of a deal, to be honest. Right, let's drop this Sylvanas. And the reason why I say that is because I have a mind control next turn, and he's unlikely to want to hit my guy and lose a divine shield here. I guess if he's got like an earth shock, he'll do that, but there's a good chance. And he already used no, he already used two. Or, he's already used some amount of earth shock. I don't know. Rock fighter, so he's just killing my whoa. Oh, he's gone upstairs. So sure. All right, so right here. I have two options. I think I'm just going to mind control this and start going upstairs. Could just like shadow or death my own guy to steal one of his, but that's all right. You can hit me for a lot of... Oh, God. The only reason you play Ravenhold Assassin is if you're playing Wind Fury. So I could... You no, know, not really that reasonably die. Oh, maybe. Yep. That's 18. Oh, well, maybe, yeah. And there's 20, 22. <laughs> okay, uh, maybe I should have um, Shadow or Death my own guy there, I guess. Or healed up or something. That sucks. <laughs> Lose the random deck. That I, I should have seen that coming. I saw it coming the turn later. Um, but I guess it's unlikely. So he needs to have two things to pump. I guess his entire deck is going to be cards that pump and Wind Fury and stuff. But he needs to have two things that pump and the Wind Fury. I guess he drew a lot of cards early on, so... Or he had a lot of... I don't know. I, I could have won that one, but... Not necessarily... Not necessarily something that I should have played around. Alright, against the Hunter, I'll keep an Earth and Ring Farce here. Kinda wanna keep a Holy Fire, too. Maybe I will. I'm just gonna keep it. See what happens. I don't really know how I'm supposed to be playing these games. Obviously, I know that the game ideally should last until turn 6, and it's going to be a really impactful card on turn 6. It's going to kill something, and it's going to allow me to um, restore health, which I'm going to need. My health will definitely below, be below 25 by then, so. There's a River Crocolisk. That's pretty good. <laughs> Heal nothing. Alright, so, I mean, there's a good chance he just hits and shoots here, and then I can, um, I can Earthen Ring Farseer myself, so that'll be good. If he plays, like, another dude out, that'd actually be really annoying. Especially if it's, like, a, a scavenging hyena. Alright, well, we're here now. Let's see what we can do about it. If I play this, you'll, uh, well, eh, not that much goes wrong. Like, worst case scenario, he just hits trade, hits into that, and then he gets a 4-3, but then what's he gonna do? I guess he could have, like, a Stone Tusk Boar, and then make a 6 Okay, that's a, that's pretty bad. That would probably lose me the game. So, I, also, even just, like, an Unleash the Hounds, he's pro he probably would do. It, it would be worth it. Doesn't seem like the best Unleash the Hounds, but, like, Oh, okay, sure. I accept. Tracking. Should have done that before. If you had drawn a Stone Tusk board, you would rather have played that. I I would imagine. Alright, so... Let's go with this into this. 
Shadow Madness. That would have been a good one. Alright. And Circle of Healing. Do I want to do that? I think so. I'll, I'll cycle it here and get it. getting that guy out of range of the other thing is good. Shadow Death's a good draw. I mean, even if he's got another thing now, he's still gonna. Uh, it's still going to die, and hopefully he's just going to kill my cleric here so the Earthen Ring will survive, live to fight another day. Overall, I'd say that this game is going reasonably well. Okay, so he can trade if he wants here. Or he can just kill command my guy and kill the other one too. Or he's just going upstairs. Sweet. This is the best. Maybe I'm supposed to heal myself there and not get greedy and draw a card and instead um, heal up so that I can actually not die to a hunter. But, I mean, I still have a holy fire in hand, so I'm not too concerned about just dying on the spot. Stampeding Kodo it is. I can, like, Shadow Madness that at some point, but eh, I'd rather just holy fire here. Maybe um, Holy Fire goes along the same lines as like Shield Block did in the Warrior Control deck in that you never really want to play it without being able to heal yourself as well if you can avoid it. But a little bit off of Mind Control, so that is actually an issue. Well, there's a Shadow Word Pain that I could have used. <laughs> um, uh, do I want a Thought Steal? Man, I wish I had a Shadow Word Death. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna thought steal here. <laughs> That'll work. Draw draw a card. <laughs> this is kind of funny. All right, and I'll pass turn. All right, not much really going on here. That I can like talk about. I mean, it's just the game is not going well for me. <laughs> That's pretty much it. It was. I thought it was going well. Oh no. Well, actually, if he doesn't kill my guy, I can actually kill that pretty easily. Otherwise, oh, even better. All right. Let's see what we what we draw. But I have some options here. Right, I want to just like drop this to take one of his guys, but I don't think I can here. I don't. I don't th really think I can uh, afford to do that. So um, I'm just gonna do this. This guy's gonna uh, is about to die, but I don't really know what else I want to do this turn. So I just want to cycle that right away. Okay. Well, that didn't really work. Uh, we're gonna take this and run both our guys into him. And I guess I'll just play this. So I should have played this first in Shadow Word or and Power Shielded, but I guess I was still trying to draw into Shadow or Death at plus four. No, I don't know. Hunter's Mark. I'm okay with this. I really just need to live one or survive. Yeah, survive one more turn here. So Shadow or Death still welcome draw. I mean, I can just do that and then steal one of the guys. But I am dying here. Okay, so I'm just going to do this and this and this. Um, I want to give both of them taunt because I can't afford... I mean, I, obviously he wants to trade there um, as opposed to trading there, but I can't afford to let that happen. I need to figure out these death rattles, so... I don't know if it depends on turn or which one was played first, but we'll see. Man, my opponent still got two Unleashed Downs in his deck. This is terrifying. If he just hits there, then I can mind control his guy, but is that really even worth it? Probably. I can clean up the board pretty, pretty easily. Alright, so he chose one card. Obviously. Okay, and he's just going to do that. And it looks like my thing triggered before his. Which 
which is weird because his came out first so it must be based on turn I don't really know Hopefully I draw like a Holy Nova. That'd be really good here. Unleash for one guy? What is happening? Why would he do that? What could he possibly gain from that? I guess he could kill that next turn, but why wouldn't he just wait? <laughs> Man, that sucks. I really wanted to kill one of those guys there. I mean, it, it might not end up mattering. He's only got one card, so even if it's Unleashed, it doesn't matter, so... Houndmaster is fine, but not particularly relevant. Guy, is he gonna hit there? Looks like it. Um, I'm gonna thought steal here. Flare and animal companion, you say? Alright, okay, let's animal companion. That's an alright one. Still got plenty of cards left in deck. Man. Sengen. Sure. Okay, hopefully we'll hit this thing. Or hit him in the face again. That's that's fine too. <laughs> Looks like Rag is going down, but I still have six power. It's only again, like him drawing only only having one card at a time is an issue. He is slowly chipping away because I keep not healing. I could have he healed my Ragnaros, I guess. I don't, I don't think that's worth it. Let's see. Is there any way we can kill him this turn? I don't think so. Six, eight. No. I got this. Heal up. And drop this thing. May as well not drop another card. He did keep one card in hand, so could be like a Barzard and an Unleash. That would be pretty garbage for me. Could actually lose that game. There's the unleash, but no buzzard. So even if it's a Timberwolf, it's not a big deal. Or if it's a Hunter's Mark, it's also not a big deal. Because he can only take out one of my threats still, and then I can hit him for six and then eight. Well played. Well played. That was a good game. And it just goes to show that this deck actually can beat the hunt the old hunter deck. I don't know about the newest one. Wee Okay. That was fun. Uh, three games in in the, the the what? I don't know. Played three games. They're fine. One two, lost one. Overall made what? Little progress, one star progress. I don't know, maybe I need to I need to play a better deck to rank up. Or I mean this deck's fine, but I just don't really know how to play it. As you can see, three wins as priest. Um Ooh, Kapow sent me an invite. I don't know who this is. See if he's got anything to say. If he's got anything to say, I will chat. Otherwise, I will not chat. He's browsing his collection. Everybody? Let's look at what Kapow's doing. He's making a deck. Is he so inspired by the deck that I just played that he wants to make his own? Is that what's happening here? <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I might have to. I might have to play like a more standard deck so that I can rank up faster. But then again, I don't really care how long it takes me to rank. <laughs> I'm just. I'm just enjoying the games. I mean, that's really the most important thing. Playing like a whole bunch of games, trying to get on win streaks, is fun and all, but. At the same time, like, doing this is also really great, so. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm sure you did, because watching people play... Watching people play Priest. Watching people play Priest. Okay. It's pretty difficult. Or it's pretty fun, rather. Whatever. Have a wonderful day. Bye.